Hey guys, Arcturus here. I hope you have all been having a great time exploring in Azuma. I have to admit, I was hoping for a little more than we got. I've pretty much had the entire area explored in 3 hours, but to be honest, my expectations were so high that unless Natalie Dormer showed up at my door with my wife and was okay with a threesome, I don't think I was going to be satisfied to begin with. Despite that though, there are a lot of cool mechanics. The Ashigaru and Ronin are tougher than the normal Teyvat mobs, which is a welcome change of pace. And when they said, let's get down to business, I couldn't help but chuckle to myself. And then I thought, wait a minute, am I the Hun? Yeah, a lot of things so far are putting little smiles on my face or make me think to myself, clever girl. And the new region is overall nice, albeit still much of the same. I guess that is the Genshin loop, love it or leave it. But what I wanted to discuss today is the new info that Mohoyo just released. It looks like they are really trying to stay ahead of the leaks to some extent, and they themselves have released possibly the next featured heroes in the patch. That along with a Horizon Zero Dawn crossover event that will be coming to PlayStation first, then to everyone else later. But let's have a look. However, first, let me celebrate Inazuma with a quick 10 bomb. So here we go. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Okay, let's do it. I'll take it. Two four stars in one 10 pull. I can't argue with that. But with that done, let's go ahead and take a look at the news. Oh, and before we go any further, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel so for some support, I'm just a little YouTuber who wants to make this a side thing, giving you guys some news and my thoughts and opinions on Genshin Impact, it would be much appreciated. But with that said, let's go on. So, Mahoyo has said here that they will be introducing Aloy, which is the main character in the Horizon Zero Dawn series. Very great game. It's on PC and PlayStation now, so if you haven't played it before, I highly recommend it. But it looks like she is going to be a 5-star character, Cryo Bow user, and she's going to be released, uh, I think, in the next patch? But this is her character art. It looks a little too cartoonish for me compared to how Genshin characters look. Genshin characters look a little more anime. This looks a little more cartoony. I know there's a difference there somewhere, trust me. But uh, it's not bad, I can't argue with this because Aloy is going to be a five star character and Aloy is going to be free. So they said that starting after version 2.1, which will be October 13, all people who have their PlayStation accounts linked to their Genshin Impact game will receive Aloy for free, straight up through in-game mail. And then, starting after version 2.2, or, or after 2.2, start of 2.3, then everyone else will be able to get Genja, will be able to get Aloy just by logging in through in-game mail. So congratulations, you guys, PlayStation exclusive, get them for one month earlier. Not bad, I guess. And additionally, they will also be giving us a four-star weapon called the Predator Bow, which is Aloy's weapon in the game. Once again, looks a little cartoony, but that's the style they're going for. It's a four star, attack is its stat, so it's not that good. Base attack is the same as other four star weapons. And for the effect, it looks like it just deals a little bit of extra cryo damage and increased attack. So far, it seems like only PlayStation Network people will get it. As it says, it's effective for PlayStation Network only. However, based on these distribution rules, how it says that after 2.1, PlayStation people will get it, and then after 2. Point, or after 2.1, but before 2.3, there's some kind of other distribution as well, so maybe we get it later, but even if we don't get it, we being the rest of the community who's not PlayStation, we wouldn't be missing out on too much. Um, and, and there is that, so let's move on to the next thing here. They have introduced the next slew of characters that might be featured in the next patch. So here we have Kokomi. Uh, her first name is uh, what? Sangonomiya? Or maybe that's her last name. I'll be honest, I'm not familiar with Japanese naming scheme. But she is going to be a Hydro character here as is indicated. And additionally, 
that we're not sure if she's going to be Catalyst or not, but I'm pretty sure that will be the case. And yeah, that's all we got. We don't know what stars she's going to be. I'm hoping for five star. But because they released three characters this round, she may just be a three star, a four star yet. Because of the other ones, it just looks so good, but we'll have to see. Then there is Sarah or Kujo Sarah. And she is basically the lieutenant of Ball, the Electro Archon. She looks really cool. I think she's going to be an Electro Archer based off of the trailer that was released. And I don't know if I want her just because of that. I would love it if she was a Malay character. Sorry, that was a train, guys. I would love it if she was a Malay character of any sort. But if she is an Electro Bow character, I may not get her unless she has some kind of cool trick shot that I have to hit. Or she does some intense like sniper damage, single shot damage. Or if she's a bow user that is a slow attacker. Because I'm kind of sick and tired of bow users just being spam click and just whittle things away that way. Not that it's a bad thing, but just one that I'm not personally fond of. But regardless, she looks amazing. She may be 4 star, maybe 5 star, we'll have to see. They may not release two 5 star characters in one patch though. So my speculation is maybe she's going to be the 4 star. And then we're going to have a 5 star Kokomi. But we'll have to see. And then the star of the show is going to be the Raiden Shogun. They have shown off. Maybe coming in the next patch. Looks like she's got a sword coming out of her boobas, so maybe she's going to be a sword user. I've heard talk, though, that she's going to be like Child, where it's actually going to be a polearm, but one of her ele elemental skills allows her to swap to sword. So like how Child is a bow, then dagger user, then this Raiden Shogun Ball might be a spear user, and then a sword user. I don't know. She looks amazing. All my Primo Gems are going towards her for sure. And yeah, if you guys have any thoughts or comments, please leave them down below. Once again, enjoy in Azuma. That's all I wanted to say for today, guys. Thanks for listening. And once again, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, it'd be much appreciated. And yeah, uh, definitely more videos coming down the way. We'll see what else Mahoyo has to say. Take care. Arturis out.